Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is October 11, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Right now, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures flying high. They're trading up 28.5 points to 29.69.5 per contract. So all in all, futures really took off right around 2 o'clock in the morning. And it looks like just really more positive news coming out about a potential skinny deal between China and the U.S. So it's not a full comprehensive trade deal, but it'll be some kind of compromise. We'll see how that comes out. Uh, if it comes out later today, I would expect it uh, some words to be released probably before the close. So we'll see how that shapes out today. But right now, the market kind of likes it, and that's really the bottom line. Now, we have lots of stocks in the news here, so let's get started with the first one. We're going to take a look at SAP. Uh, that stock's catching a big, big bid this morning. This is on the back of guidance. It's trading at $125.15, closed at $115.25. I did also see some other news regarding SAP. Um, maybe it's about the CEO stepping down or something along those lines. But regardless of what it is, uh, the market likes it, and uh, the stock is having a big, big surge. I think it's a bit overbought here. I also, when I look at the daily chart, think you're into a very good resistance around 126 to 128 so again if you own sap trail the stop loss immediately if you don't own it i would leave it alone at this stage of the game next up want to take a look at fastenal ticker symbol is fast this stock's catching a nice little bid today this is on the back of earnings stock is trading at 34 dollars a share closed at 3102 um, you're running into a lot of resistance here as well around the 34 to 35 level. I'll see if we can pinpoint something more specific once the opening bell rings today. But again, fast, no great move here ahead of the opening bell. But if you own it, I think you should trail the stop loss immediately there. Next up, I want to take a look at uh, SAVE, which is Spirit Airlines. Stock is catching a bid as well, trading up at 35.86, closed at 33.99. This might have some more room to run. This has been really, really beaten up. I think there are a lot of shorts in it as well. So again, Spirit catching a nice little pop today. Uh, we'll see it. We'll look at it once the opening bell rings. You have the 50-day moving average on the daily chart around 37.58. So again, there could be a little bit more upside to go here. Next up, I want to take a look at Roku. It looks like that was upgraded today. Stock is trading at 124.20, closed at 116.13. Yesterday, it briefly got above the 120 level. Today, it's solidly above that now on the back of this upgrade. So we'll keep that on the radar. Next up, we want to take a look at Wendy's. Wendy's right now catching a big pop. That's trading at $21.20, closed at $19.99. So you got a nice little uptick there for Wendy's. Uh, looks like this is on the back of guidance this morning. They are having their investor day. So good little pop in Wendy's. Uh, we have some cloud names up today. Tra uh, Trade Desk, TTD, uh, catching a good little bid. That's trading at 192 and a quarter. Closed at 185.65. That's on the back of an upgrade this morning. I believe Workday also got upgraded as well. That's trading at 179.50. And then you have CrowdStrike downgraded. CRWD that's downgraded by Goldman today at 5960 closed at 6141 next up we have Chinese ADRs in the news obviously with positive China US negotiations going on Alibaba is catching a bid on the back of that news trading at 17025 this stock closed at 16607 so when I look at this um, they, they've been all beaten up all these Chinese ADRs so they're getting a nice little recovery today and we'll give them the benefit of the doubt to go higher. No levels that I'm seeing specifically at the moment for Alibaba. Let's take a look at Baidu. That's trading at 105.96. So nice little pop there. This closed at 103.85. Then you have JD. Those are the three most important, I think, right now. That is trading at 29.39. Closed at 28.53. So all the Chinese ADRs upticking a little bit here. We'll see how that goes. Looks like we have European banks catching a bid. Deutsche Bank with a nice little pop today. This closed at $7.13, now trading at $7.43. Overall, the bigger chart patterns are horrible, but um, nice little pop today ahead of the opening bell. Then you got uh, LYG uh, right now trading at $2.94. This closed at $2.61, so that's a pretty good uh, pop as well. Let's take a look at Credit Suisse CS. That is trading at $11.99, closed at $11.62. Banco Santander, SAN, trading at 408. This closed at 395. So again, um, good little moves there. Let's take a look at one more. HSBC, uh, this is trading at 3841, closed at 
90. So uh, all of the European bank stocks are higher. In fact, all of the financials are higher today. So we'll give them all the benefit of the doubt. Bond yields are also up this morning. Next up, let's take a look here at the gold market. We'll use the GLD for that. That is trading at 139.85, closed at 140.82. Spot gold today down $12.60 to $1,488 an ounce. And again, no fear out here. You're going to see gold go down. Most likely we'll see the VIX pull back as well right at the open today. So we'll keep that on the radar. Let's look at crude oil. Crude oil this morning trading up 64 cents a barrel to $54.19. Uh, a barrel. So all in all, crude getting a little pop. If you take a look at the USO, you'll see that's trading at $11.31. There was some news last night that there was uh, an Iranian tanker, uh, oil tanker struck by two missiles near a Saudi port, port. We don't know if that's true or if it's confirmed, but again, we'll see how that uh, plays out. Uh, a little bit later and we'll see what, what, what reports come out of there. But again, uh, oil always has the geopolitical events involved. Also, it's affected by the dollar and adverse weather. So you always got to, you know, give oil that little bit of a premium uh, just for those uh, for those reasons. All right. With that being said, everybody, we're going to leave it here short and sweet. Once again, if you have not done so, come on over. Check out the intraday stock chat room. We're having a Dynamite 2019. We're going to look to keep that going really right into the end of the year. You could trade right alongside of us. Check it out, the intraday stock chat room here at IntheMoneyStocks.com. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we'll see you all a little bit later on the charts.